Pennsylvania League of Angling Youth, Fall 2010, written by Amity Daniel and Adam Spangler, edited by Spring Gerhardt, design and illustrations by Ted Walk, photos by Spring Gerhardt, Art Michaels, Dennis Tubbs, Visit Pittsburgh, and the U.S. Coast Guard. Read by Miranda Smith. Big Waterways, Big Boating Fun. Boating on any of Pennsylvania's lakes, rivers, creeks, and streams is always fun. Along with having fun, knowing the waters you plan to boat and letting others know when and where you are going is every boater's responsibility. This issue of play takes you on a paddling journey of Pennsylvania's big major waterways, north, west, east, and south. Pennsylvania has many boating opportunities on these major waterways. These include Lake Erie, the three rivers, Ohio, Monongahela, and Allegheny Rivers, Susquehanna River, and Delaware River. Big reminders, never boat alone. Always boat with an adult. Always wear your life jacket. Float plan. Leave a float plan for your next boating trip. Before you leave home with family or friends to paddle your favorite waterway, create a float plan of your trip. A float plan lets others know where and when you are leaving and returning. It also provides the details about your trip. Whether you are planning a short trip on your favorite waterway or a long expedition, you need to complete a float plan. Be safe. A complete and detailed float plan will help provide a speedy rescue. What to include in your float plan? One, who you will provide your float plan to before going on your trip. A family member or neighbor this person will be responsible for notifying others if you do not return when you indicated. Two, name of person completing the float plan. Three, description of your boat. This includes type, color, size, and any other boat features. Four, who will be leading your trip? Five, survival equipment. This includes first aid kit, ropes, life jackets, whistles, extra paddles, and flashlights. Six, cellular phones, two-way radios, and other ways you can contact others and be contacted while on your trip. Seven, Trip details such as where you are departing from, date and time, where you are heading to, and arrival date and time. 8. What type of car will you be using to travel to the waterway? 9. List of names of those who are paddling with you. 10. Always include any information you feel will help rescue workers find you in case you are lost or in danger. Pennsylvania's Big Lake, Lake Erie and Presque Isle. Why is it called Lake Erie? Native Americans named Lake Erie. The Native American name is Heary, which means wildcat. It was home to the Native American tribe known as 
Ariel Honan, or Long Tails. Visitors from everywhere enjoy Lake Erie's beautiful beaches and shoreline bluffs. To the northwest, Lake Erie. Fast facts. Lake Erie is the largest body of water in Pennsylvania. It's the 11th largest lake in the United States. It's the fourth largest but shallowest Great Lake. Lake Erie is the smallest Great Lake by total amount of water. At 63 Pennsylvania shoreline miles, it has 735 square miles of water. It's a great location to fish for walleye, yellow perch, smallmouth bass, and steelhead. Located off the shore of Lake Erie is Presque Isle State Park. Its 3,200 acre sandy peninsula provides plenty of family fun from paddling the lagoons to swimming, biking, and relaxing. Three Rivers, where two rivers meet to make one big river. To the southwest, Three Rivers. Why is it called Three Rivers? The Allegheny River and the Monongahela River meet in Pittsburgh to form the Ohio River. It was once known as the Gateway to the West. Native Americans named all three rivers. Allegheny means fair waters. Monongahela means high crumbling banks. And Ohio means beautiful river. Three rivers, big fun. Fish, play ball, see the sights, and bike. Fish for smallmouth, striped, and white bass. Freshwater drum, walleye, muscalunge, flathead catfish, and sauger. See the stadiums where the Pittsburgh Pirates and Pittsburgh Steelers play. They're located on the shores of the Allegheny River. Visit the Carnegie Science Center on the North Shore of the Ohio River for some interactive science fun. Stretch your legs at one of the many waterfront parks like Point State Park, Sharpsburg Riverfront Park, or Station Square. Pedal your bike along the 25-mile Three Rivers Heritage Rail Trail. Don't get lost on the water. A water trail map is available to provide safety information for paddling on the rivers. At each landing site, you will find racks to store your boat while exploring or stopping for some food. Susquehanna River, big north-south connection to the Chesapeake Bay. The Pennsylvania portion of the Susquehanna River provides major fisheries for popular game fish. These include smallmouth bass, walleye, catfish, and muscalunge. There's paddling opportunities for all levels of experience. The river flows right past Harrisburg, Pennsylvania's capital city. To the center, Susquehanna River. Fast facts. The river flows 444 miles from New York to Maryland. It's the largest river that is entirely in the United States that drains to the Atlantic Ocean. It's the 16th largest river in North America. It provides nearly 50% of the Chesapeake Bay's fresh water. In 2009, nearly 49,000 American shad passed through the river's four hydroelectric dams by way of fish passages. Delaware River 
big river connecting four states. The Delaware River stretches 330 miles and connects the states of New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. The Delaware River offers great opportunities for all types of paddling, from flat water paddling for beginners to white water for experienced paddlers. Fish for trout, bass, American shad, American eel, walleye, northern pike, and striped bass. Hiking and biking along the river are great activities, particularly on the Delaware River Islands and Delaware Canal towpath. This is the river George Washington crossed on December 24, 1776 during the American Revolutionary War. To the east, Delaware River. Fast facts. The river flows and grows in size as 216 other streams and rivers empty into it. It is the longest river east of the Mississippi that does not have a dam on it. The Delaware provides water to 15 million people or nearly 5% of the population of the United States. It has the largest freshwater port in the world. A section of 150 miles is listed as a National Wild and Scenic River. Know your waterway. Match the waterways discussed in this issue with the facts below. Place the correct answer on the wavy line provided. 1. Two rivers help form this waterway. It was once known as the Gateway to the West. If you like football and baseball, this is a good place to paddle. Which waterway is it? 2. This river stretches 330 miles, serves as a water source for nearly 15 million people, and supports a world-class fishery. Which waterway is it? 3. This water body is 444 miles long, stretching from New York to Maryland. It provides nearly half of the fresh water to the Chesapeake Bay and is the 16th largest river in North America. Which waterway is it? 4. The 11th largest lake in the world. This water body was named for a Native American tribe. Which waterway is it? Answer key. 1. Three rivers. 2. Delaware River. 3. Susquehanna River. 4. Lake Erie.